I, I, I shouldn't say before I did medicine. When I was your age, I used to, um, I'm younger, in between 12 and 18. I painted, I sold paintings at galleries. I made a really good sum of money from my art. Um, and then I moved into designing clothes, and I used to uh, do prints, sell t-shirts and stuff. I had a business by the time I was 18. And I know, I know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, know, I don't know how I did it. And then I went to medical school, and I, I, that's why I got through medical school because I had this design company that I was selling stuff on. And for the last twenty years, I have not done as much overtly creative things as I've done because of this work-life issue. And it's so on a personal level, that's one of the challenges which I have. And it's about how do you, no matter how passionate you are, no matter how much you love what you're doing find time for the things that um, replenish your spirit, that makes you feel that you, know, you are part of this universe and you're continuing to contribute. Because every talent you have, and somebody said this last night, and it really struck me, that because we're all interconnected, every talent you've been given, somebody else depends on you to develop that talent to the maximum you can. 